Hey guys, this is Lego Man 7777 doing another prequel review. This time on 7665 Republic Cruiser. Alright. Lego Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, you know what that. 9 to 14. Yeah. 919 pieces. 30th anniversary. Limited edition. Something. New exclusive R2 R7. It's right there. All these people. It's got junk, it does. There's a lot of junk. And then the other sets. Remember, I don't have that one, but otherwise, I reviewed those other sets. Um, before I forget, this is the Toys R Us exclusive. And when I got it, they raked the price up. An extra ten bucks, but whatever, doesn't really bother me. Toys R Us will do what they want, so I expect the turbo tank to be one thirty when I go get it. If it gets there first, anyway, on to the people. All right, you got the Republic captain. He's got no back detail, but uh, pretty much the captain and the pilot have the same stuff. Except their hair. I mean their accessory. Yeah, he's just got black hair. Just like in episode one, he's the dude who talks to Gun Roy. No, I mean the dude who talks to Qui-Gon saying, we've approached the blockade or something like that. Then you got the pilot. Uh, he comes with a blaster because they send him out on dangerous missions all the time. So he gets a blaster. He's the same as the captain. Except he has just a little blue hat. That I actually had to find. It took a while to find that hat. Then we got uh, young Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's got standard hood, brown, cape, tunic, and blue lightsaber. His face is Obi-Wan-ish. And then uh, you got the first flesh-colored Qui-Gon Jinn. He's my favorite guy in the set. The only thing I don't like is he does not come with uh, hair. And uh, I learned that the first couple hundred of these sets made, they accidentally put two Obi-Wan heads instead of the Qui-Gon head. And I got the Obi-Wan head, so I had to call Lego and get a replacement. And then this is R2-R7. He's my favorite astromech droid just because of the fact that he's green. I mean, yeah, I also like the one from the Arc Fighter too. But this is... Yeah, he was my favorite. I like him. He's nice. Alright. The cruiser itself is one of the best when it comes to set design and, and um, actuality. No, it's not scaled because you can't scale these cruisers. Um, the Sun the Venator are pretty much the only $100 sets that weren't scaled. Anyway. Okay. So. Bring the cruiser on over. Lower the camera so we get a focus. Okay, so here's this, and you open this up. See those awesome little orange pieces? Yeah, they're awesome. And you take your pilot and take his gun off. And he just slides right on in there. His feet get connected. I'll show you. I can get the piece out. Wow, oh yeah, that's right, it's the whole front. Anyway, here's the front of the ship. The detail, anyway. But this is where the guy puts his feet. It's, an, uh, it's a different way of doing it. You just put his feet in like that. And then you slide this back down. And then you got the front of his ship and your pilot. And then I just I'll throw the gun right there. Oh, gun can't go right there. Of course it can. Gun's gonna go right there. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's so typical. Put a whole ship. To oh! Ah! I haven't actually used this scent in a very long time. And it shows. Okay. We're good with that now. Now we're gonna just turn it like this. Now. 
to pick up the red ship, the, I call it the big red ship, you pick it up under here and on the top of these things. But this little button, you press it, pushes the neck forward with the, see there's rubber band there and then three axles. And then you get your escape pod that comes out. You take this off, it's not connected by anything. Then you take Obi Wan. And then you take Qui Gon. And you put them right in there. Put them in the escape pod, and that's where they sit in the whole mission. That's not really where they sit in the movie, but it's the only other place you could put them. Then, to do this, I'll show you, because uh, you can twist the head. You twist the head, and you put this red piece right here, and then you push it all the way up. And then it sticks in there, because the axles catch it too, and then you're all good and everything. Okay. Now that we're good with that, this, of course, is going to be two parts. Awesome. Okay, then we got some detail back here. This is a antenna thing signal. You move and break off. Of course. Of course. And then before we get to the inside, I'm just going to finish the outside because we'll, we'll do the inside when we do part two. But uh, I love the engines. It, the engines are one of my favorite parts of this set. And then there's your engines. They just look amazing, don't they? So detailed and whatnot. Uh, that's a genius way of doing it. Now we're going to work with this. Okay. You pick this up, and then there's this little, yellow, this little spinny thing. Probably hear something spinning. You're right. That piece spins this radar dish. You get one radar two radar, three radar. Then you got some moving radar right here. And finally you got your last piece of radar equipment right here. I hope it's a little brighter. It's not going to rain just quite yet. I'm doing this a little earlier than I usually do. My reviews. Today you can expect um, two or three reviews maybe. I don't know. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, and I'm just going to show you the front of the ship just because we're going to run out of time and I don't want to get in too into it. Here's the front of the ship. And you got another radar right there. Here's the sides and the detailing. And I'll show you these are landing gear. You fold them up and in. And there you go. It still stands perfectly fine with the landing gear up. It just makes it look like it's flying. Goo 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 goo. <laughs> yeah, that's my amazing sounds. And then you got your docking bay right here. And docking bay on the other side. But anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it off. Alright, see you peoples. We'll do part two in a little bit.